Hi everyone, um, welcome to this episode. Uh, in this tutorial, what we'll be doing is this guy looking at uh, creating virtual layers from existing share files. Um, and before we begin, I just want to explain what virtual layers could actually help you in. So in most cases, for example, in the previous um, tutorial, we had a rule-based symbology where we were able to highlight uh, this region called Rift Valley. Um, what if you wanted to have it as a separate layer, but basically a layer, you don't want to create a share file from this region, but you want to have that layer within your project as an option to carry out different um, uh, analysis. So in this case, you could use what we call the virtual layers and you would be able to get an extra layer within your project that you can actually use as an input within um, a certain process. So basically, <clears throat> how you perform this kind of um, uh, 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 operation is basically um, extracting, uh, if you look at the attributable, you see that the Rift Valley that you are concerned with is basically something that you can get from this column called name one. So um, you could create all those, I think they're about, um, they're about 13 features. So you could extract those into a virtual layer and have them separate. So to create a virtual layer in QGIS, you need to go to a uh, layer, then create, then you go to new uh, virtual layer. When you're on this window, um, there are quite a number of options that exist. One, um, you have an option of giving it a name. So you would say maybe um, this is a virtual layer of maybe uh, Rift Valley. I would give it that notation so um, it's clear. Um, and there are two parts here. So one, the add option helps you to add uh, layers that you can basically use to query uh, while creating your, um, your virtual layer. Or you can import existing uh, layers from your project. So for example, if you click on this, it will create a new entry where you can define the name, the provider, which basically you have an option to get data from all these providers, as you can see them here. Um, there's an option of the source, that's basically where the data is located. This is where you have layers that probably are not located within your project. You might have data uh, for example, as you've seen here, you might have data on a database, PostgreSQL database, or maybe on a certain uh, a remote server, or you can even have uh, something like um, um, a WMS or basically a web map or a web feature service that you can consume. For layers that are basically here within your project, um, you can just use the import to import those layers into the uh, the component on to the um, this algorithm um, basically the query that you need to write is because you are trying to fetch or to filter data from an existing share file so you are expected to write a query to filter the data here so this component is basically the usual sql um, um, query and of course as you will write a normal uh, sql query um, that's how you expected to write it here. And what I usually uh, do myself is you can import because of the issues of names and all that. You can actually trace the names from here, but in, sometimes you might find yourself confusing a single uh, letter. So for example, I want to select from Kenya ADM2. So I'll just get that and it will be imported here. And then because I already have, I can copy this name and I write my SQL query. So I'll say I want to select all um, from this layer and I want where. Uh, we saw there was a column called, it will give you actually from these uh, later versions of uh, QGIS, it's so nice that it gives you hints. So you get uh, name one equals, but basically I need uh, to put the quotes. So name one, Okay, equals, um, I saw it's Rift Valley, sorry, Rift Valley, there. 
um if i was try to um there's an option with after you write the um the query there's a button here for test where you can just click um the test button to check whether you have any syntax error so if you don't have any syntax error if you click add it will basically uh, create that layer automatically so you can see here i have my layer virtual layer uh, rift valley and if i close this it's an individual layer or a separate layer on itself so now i have my layer and if i open the attributes i'm able to see the attributes for that specific uh, region okay so remember i've not saved this data into a separate share file on my computer or somewhere on a remote server it's just existing within the uh, qgs project and if i hover my cursor over it you can see the information that comes down there it's basically showing you that it's not per se a layer or a layer stored somewhere the path shows you a query meaning it's a query from an existing layer okay so we've done the first part of um, uh, querying or creating a virtual layer from the kenya admin 2 data which is basically this rift valley region um, in some cases you might find that um, you want to get uh, for example we had schools or we have schools for the entire country what if you wanted schools that only fall within this uh, region you want to create another layer for only features or only uh, schools that fall within this region as you can see i have the purple color which basically this layer there are some things that have been selected so i can disable them um, for a virtual layer what you basically uh, need to do you need to uh, write an expression or write an sql uh, query that will basically um, query the schools that fall within the boundaries of this um, uh, rift valley region so to do that for the virtual layer you go to layer create layer then new virtual layer so here i can just remove that so here i can import the rift valley and the kenya schools that so here i need to basically with everything from there so here what usually happens uh, we need to output everything that falls within the the rift valley region so but we are selecting the school so basically it's uh, select all from so now i'll copy this name so we are selecting from the ken school but then we need to define um where will be compared the layer that will be comparing the geometry with so which is basically this which is the uh the other virtual layer so do something like that and then um uh we'll basically uh put a condition or add a condition so where um here we need to use a spatial uh, uh function so there's usually a lot of uh spatial um uh, functions like all these so if you wanted to implement things like uh, touches or uh basically overlaps or something of the sort you have quite a number of options to choose from so here i just want the one that is uh, within because we want the ones that are within the uh the virtual layer that we created so then if we have that so the first part what we've done is select all from then we've these are the data sources basically and then this part is the condition where uh we now want to compare so we want to compare the geometry of the kenya school so this can do something like this um geometry then uh, we put a comma so this is a function that expects two uh, arguments which is basically um the input layer and or the input geometry and the geometry that you are trying to compare with so here i have ken uh, school dot geometry and then we are comparing it to the virtual layer geometry so they are dot geometry like that okay but then this function um if this uh the function if this is uh the output of this function needs to be one if this is true and zero if this is not true 
So whatever is here. So for example, the Kenya school geometry to check for each feature. So if that feature's geometry does not fall within the geometry or the Rift Valley uh, layer that we have here, it will return a zero. So we need to tell that we only need those that are true, where the geometry of the school falls within the geometry of the Rift Valley region. So we have to put an equals one so that we only need those that are true. So now if I test, I'll see that my query does not have an error like that. And then I can click add. Um, so it tells me that, uh, uh, okay, sorry, I did not change the name here. So let me change. Yeah, I just created it, but let me just do this. Uh, put something like that, I click add. So it will calculate for me the, to select those schools that fall within the geometry. It's taking a while. Of course, the schools are many because they're for the entire country. It's coming, okay, yeah, I can see it has completed. So now I can just close that and from these layers, now I see that I only have schools that fall within this geometry of this region. So we've just created um, a virtual layer. Uh, now we can use this virtual layer in some other analysis that uh, uh, we, we need, if, um, or basically if need be. So that's how you are able to, okay, so you can create virtual layers from uh, basically any layer that you have on your QGIS project. Um, what I wanted to demonstrate is how to create a virtual layer um, just by writing a simple query or a simple SQL query and also writing uh, special queries. And that's how you are able to do this. So yeah, that's it for today. Um, if you have any question, you can leave it in the comment uh, section. And remember to subscribe so you get to the next uh, video that I shall publish. So cheers guys. Enjoy.